Yeah, it's the engine room, and I'm looking pretty much at the back row right now. They're going to have to get around the pitch. Number seven, Mitch Jacobson, is going to have to lead from the front. They make their way over to Quincy as their starting 15 brought to you by VMFH. Here's their pack and their hashtag, Together We Hunt. These guys do a great job at it again. Look at Joe Tapatehe at Hooker. He's an absolutely phenomenal USA Eagle. Our shoulder's going to get used to some hitting and then get to playing here in the second 10. Mac Mason and the Seawolves are perfect on the road this year. Looking to hand the Free Jacks just their second loss on the season in their own backyard here in Quincy as we are underway. Pryor will continue turning. They thought they had the big man, but the flanker continues to plow through. Flags are up. So are the Seawolves. They've got three points on the board. This is the closest New England has come to finding the opening try of the match. Here's your opportunity. Open spaces and a lead for the home side. Dotting it down, Wayne Vanderbank. He's in for a second straight week. Port for New England to get a win here. They get the line out, they get on the job and stay on the job. And right here, Patros, the dummy, he held the defender and just a slip on the outside, but he was probably overcommitted anyway. And Vanderbach is finding the try zone sublimely here in the middle of the season. He just has a great line of running from a great playmaker. Tell me about today. Uh, we have an awesome biotech day happening today at Veterans Memorial Stadium. You are a leader of a rugby organization and a biotech company. Well, what are the similarities between that for you? Oh, that, it, by the way, thanks for having me here. Thomas, thank you again. Mac Mason going to the tee now for the second time today. Connected in the early minutes and has pulled Seattle back within one. Again, for the high tackle effort regardless of whether or not Mark was calm. Rousseau trying to help Piers Von Dattelson get back on side. He is two for two. Plenty of leg. His first start today for the Seawolves. A man who's drafted by Dallas only to debut with Austin. And here's your trance looking for that line and taking names along the way. Dan Creel has done it again. Hands out to the edge. Take another look at it now. Just picks it up. That's 21. I believe that's Reese Mason. Just simple hands out the edge. Pin and pass on the corner. That's rugby 101. Mooneyham. We talked about him in the open. He's just electric on the corner. Nice job. And here it is out the back. The Rush defense from Patros opens up that defensive line in the middle. From five meters out moments prior, instead of the Free Jacks reclaiming a lead, it's Seattle who takes the advantage and they'll take that lead into the sheds as Mac Mason sends this one into Todd. Five meters out, instead of expanding a lead, they wind up saying Seattle moments later, stretching an advantage to seven. Mason. Able to free it up, opportunity on the edge, and just like that, New England able to make up for lost time. Able to shut that down. Donald trying to inch closer. And finally they say yes. Able to get in prior. Territory and the Fords went to work. A couple moments you thought they were going to give the ball back to New England, but staying on the job, nice job at the breakdown. But right here, low man wins. He just ducks his pads and dives over the line and gets the try. Seawolves looking for more here. After finding their second try a moment ago, the carry here from Elton. And now all of a sudden finding their rhythm on the edge. Rickard having the captain with the caravan. Putting up from Mac Mason. Check it out. They win the lineup. They have possession of right here. The defensive deep three is back too far. And that chip over the top is just perfectly weighted and sits up right here. The hands and the skills, all skills, all players. Taufatehe getting it through his hands out to the edge. And the eight man playing wing with the gas and the long strides on the edge. Reichard Hatting, the captain. Into Larson. 
the mall. And it's going to be, I believe, a penalty try awarded. The shift of momentum, taking a look at the line out. New England goes to work and just collapsing that mall on the edge. Rejects trying to get the crowd back into this one. Welcoming the contact, Sadalecki Baker. Hello and goodbye, Caleb Geiger. That'd be the spark they need. A nice counterattack on the edge. Check out the run here and the shove off. Nice job by Baker getting him down the touchline and right here. The line from the big man, number 18, Caleb Geiger, coming on a hot line, and the jump inside the try zone. Check that thing out, New England. Signs alive, a big uphill battle to go, but they needed some. That's your final whistle. It'll end on the miscue from New England. It was not their day. As Seattle travels east and finds their first ever win outside of Boston.